Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros. The Matrix Durrell, brother, are you there? Yes, I'm here. How you doing? Doing great, man. How are you feeling? How's the back going? I, I've been working out for a couple of days since the uh, incident, and uh, I'm not going 100 percent right now, but I am back and working out, and that's a part of the sign for me. So I'm gonna keep it moving and uh, keep hustling and get to this uh, fight. Now you're going up against Arthur Abraham, and we hear about this injury in the back. But it's been moved from it's been moved from March 6th to March 27th. Is that enough significance of time for a back injury to heal to go into one of the biggest and most important fights of your career? I'm 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 actually hoping so. Thanks for the comment, might I add as well. But um, I'm I'm actually hoping so. We're not I'm not too certain if that date is locked. But um, like I said, I'm not going to get in that ring until I'm 100. percent You know, Dre. Obviously, there's fight fans are they're, they're upset because of the the back injury, but some fight fans and critics are saying Durrell get, is getting cold feet. What do you say about something like that? I mean, I, I don't know what to say about that. that. That's the first time I actually heard about it, so that's the first time it actually has crossed my mind. You know, uh, I'm, ready to get, I'm ready to get in that ring and shine, you know. Um, critics want to think what they want to think. They want to think. I don't call them boxing fans. I call them critics. I've been playing on a back injury. The back injury just happened. You know, unfortunately, uh, uh, other fight, uh, fight fans don't look at it that way. But hey, what can you do? You know, you just, you just do your job. You work hard, and you try to become the best. I've said this, and I, I, the last time we had you on, I think I told you this. I said you have all the gifts in this tournament to really, honestly, take it. You got the hand speed. You got the skills. I think the only big question a lot of people had was, does he have the maturity? And getting in with Frotch, you showed you had the maturity, you know. Uh, but looking back at it, when you go back and look at the tapes, you obviously, you, you know, I know you and, and your uncle have looked at it, and you, could, you guys have said, okay, this is what I did wrong. This is what I need to do next. With Arthur Abraham, do you see any similarities? It, it, it's sort of a similarity. Uh, uh, Abraham doesn't bring the pressure like Frotch does. Uh, Frotch is a much longer fighter, and I still managed to make him miss. Um, the mistakes I made in there was actually ho obviously holding too much. You know, I, I, I've seen that I could do a lot more. But I don't believe in that fight that I found myself like I did, like I have now. You know, it took me a while to find myself after that fight. That fight has taught me a lot, and uh, I'm reaching for bigger and better goals right now. And um, how how did the injury occur? And and was this did this just all of a sudden, or was this? Building up to get to to a point where you felt okay, you know what? It's not gonna work. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna be able to get in there. March sixth. Um, first of all, the injury happened sparring Victor Odenhoff. Um, he, he he, I made a turn to hit him after he missed, and um, I made a turn to hit him and didn't completely turn, but I threw my punch all the way over, and it threw my back out that instant, and uh, I knew right then and there, well, I didn't know that I was gonna be out. You know, like okay, I gotta take a break. But I knew that it was, I was in pretty, uh, pretty uh, uh, bad pain, you know. So I sat on it that day and uh, let it rest and got the next morning, and I felt the same feeling. So I knew I had to take a little time off, and I knew the fight was just around the corner, so I wasn't going to risk that. So first, let me just ask, what, the, how, how loyal to the Super 6 tournament are you and, and how invested in the success of it uh, do you see yourself? Don't, don't, don't get it wrong. I'm in it to win it, and I believe I am going to win it. I'm in this 110. percent Let me let me rephrase a little bit though, and I'll even include myself, because cause like like a lot of people out there, I'm I'm just now really getting to know Andre Durrell. Uh, obviously, your your status in boxing has increased. Uh, it, some people might be worried, uh, um, you know, skeptical about the injury, and say, "Man, it seems like maybe Andre Durrell is looking out for himself." putting himself just a little bit ahead of, of this, this uh, tournament and, you know, boxing on the whole. I think for a lot of people, the health of boxing is invested in the success of this tournament. So just comment a little bit on that for me, uh, clear that up. Exactly, exactly. And 
thing about it is, um, obviously, most people believe that I have won that fight, you know, because how could I be ahead of myself and I just lost? You know, I look at that and, and, and take that as a positive. You know, they we want to think that as well, but, you know, I'm really just ready to get in there and show the world what I can do. You know, and that's pretty much all I can say about that situation. People are going to believe what they want to believe, you know, uh, but I can't sit back and feed off that. I have to stay focused on the situation at hand, and, and that's getting in that ring and doing my job to the fullest of my abilities. And I believe I'm going to do that, regardless of when they push the fight or if the fight ever happens. You know, I think they're getting confused with, with, with is this fight going to happen. I'm telling the uh -huh. world right now, this fight is going to happen. This fight is definitely okay. going to happen, and I'm going to win. So, so I, I remember, too, when you came back, you know, we had, we had talked to you about that fight, and, and then we, had been, we went over with the possibilities of where this next fight would take place. And, and you know, big venues like the Madison Square Garden, uh, that, that was mentioned. As it turns out, uh, you know, it was now scheduled for the Agua Caliente Casino. Do you feel like that was the right venue for this fight? Um, is it big enough? Are you happy with that venue? Um, I, I've heard it was something like 1,800 people. So, honestly, no, you know. But like I said, I, I'm not focused on nothing but getting in there and doing my job. You know, so wherever the, the, the competition was to take place, then I was just going to be prepared for it. I wasn't going to let anything mentally get in my head or get in the way of me getting this victory. You know, so um, wherever they decide to put the fight in, that's where I was going to go and I was going to handle my business. But. Arthur, how are you doing, brother? First off, you know, uh, I know you're in California. How's camp going? I feel me very fine. I have no problem here. He's very nice. Too much sun, and I feel me good. When you found out Andre Durrell was not going to fight you March 6th, how upset were you, were you, or were you even upset? He wasn't sad, but he was definitely angry that he was not able to fight that day because he's ready, um, all ready to go and fight. Does this affect his training? And does it mentally affect him not being able to step in March 6th? and it's being delayed on March 27th. Does that affect him in any way? It is actually benefiting uh, him more because he's getting used to the climate here and to the weather. So it's actually better. It works better for him. Does he feel that in any way, is this a way of Andre Durrell trying to get into the mind of Arthur Abraham? Uh, it actually does not bother me or interest me what my opponent thinks, uh, but when it comes to time, I will show what I can do uh, in the ring. Andre Durrell has, has been very vocal about Frotch. Is he surprised that Durrell has not been vocal about him at all? Um, I don't care if he talks about me or who he talks about. I will show him uh, all my abilities in the ring. Is Arthur surprised in how receiving the Americans have been for him? Um, obviously, the Americans have completely fallen in love with his power. I'm not that surprised, but I'm uh, extremely happy and glad that American people accept me, and uh, I have a lot of fans here, so that's a big joy for me, and I'm very excited about that. You know, we had uh, Andre Durrell right now uh, just a few minutes ago, and he said if his back was not ready on the 27th, that he's going to postpone it again. If he does that, will Arthur stay or will he go back home? <laughs> Oh, um, uh, he doesn't have a back pain. I think he has a, a headache, a pain in his head. <laughs> you know, there's there's been rumors that when Arthur steps in the sparring that he likes to try to knock out every one of his opponents. Uh, can he can he kind of elaborate a little bit what is my frame when he spars? Um, I uh, train very hard. Uh, I follow all the instruct uh, instructions from my uh, trainer and it just comes naturally. If, it, if a knockout is going to happen, it happens. But I work hard, and if uh, 
whatever the natural course it takes, it does. What about what is it about Durrell does he respect, and what is it about Durrell that he doesn't respect? As a person, I respect each and every uh, everybody. everybody. I respect everybody. It doesn't matter if it's a, a regular person or an athlete. If he has a, a plan uh, that he would like to share with us, even on a basic level, uh, when he does get in the ring with Durrell. I have many plans, but I would not announce it, announce it publicly because Durrell would hear it then. Right, <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> uh, care to make a prediction? Uh, do you feel like, obviously you feel like you're going to win the fight, but do you feel like you're going to knock Durrell out? I don't like to predict if I'm going to knock out the other opponents, but uh, I know that I will win.